hi guys welcome back to another day of the vlog so <laughs> this is gonna be like my birthday preparation vlog y'all i don't i do not feel good y'all I do not feel good at all, y'all. Like, literally. Um, my birthday dinner is Saturday. And out of nowhere, y'all, I got so freaking sick. Like, I don't even understand how I got sick. Like, the only thing I could, like, the only thing I could, like, equate it to is probably, like, it was raining really bad. And there was, like, a day that I just kept, I went, like, different places and i was in and out the ring that's probably the only thing i could think like that got me sick out of nowhere anyways i just have really like bad body aches um i have a cough and then it just hurts to cough like it's just it's really bad y'all y'all so i'm about to go pick up my cake i am happy nervous like i'm happy but i'm nervous at the same time so i'm about to go pick up my cake right now at first i gotta go to the bank y'all first thing first we're gonna go to the bank because she i gotta pay her the remaining amount in cash um cash only so i'm about to go to the bank get the remaining balance and after that, we're going to go to her. I'm nervous. All right, y'all.
your life for that year. You start to think about your accomplishments, your disappointments, things you could have did good or better, and things you did do good. And it's just like a load of emotions. And especially like when you're about to enter a big age, it's like, dang, you know? But anyways, um, what I was gonna say. Yeah, so after this, I'm gonna go get my hair done. I washed my hair this morning. I took my braids out last night. And I got this wig on my head. No glue, no nothing. Just holding on by dear faith at this point. Excuse me. Um, I am feeling a lot better. I am feeling a lot better. I'm able to talk now. <coughs> As y'all could see from like my pre my previous like videos or clips, I should say. I couldn't even talk, y'all. Like I'm really excited, y'all. Like, I'm really excited. Like this birthday is so different. Like usually, like I am going somewhere. I'm going out the country, stay city whatever doing something and unfortunately because of this job I wasn't able to do that and I chose that because I could have pushed the start date back but I didn't for various reasons I didn't and like I'm like dang girl you really getting mature because the old me y'all uh, the old me would have definitely pushed you back because I got plans and I would have kept my plans but yeah, so I um, couldn't because of this job. And um, let's see, I'm just having a dinner. That's all I'm doing is I'm having a dinner and then me and Christy got like other things planned to do together. But it's in the city. So we're not like going anywhere, but yeah. And also too, Christy, and if y'all OGs, then y'all know who Christy is. She also got a new job too. And she started two weeks before me in her new job. So it's just planning. We were planning to go out the country. And it's just everything like us getting new jobs and stuff kind of like ruined the plans of that. So we couldn't, you know, go out the country. So anyways, that's a, that's another reason why I was like, okay, cool. I'm not going to push this back because Christy already um, got a, her new job and she started two weeks before me. And then two weeks later, I started my new job. It was just too much changes going on. So I was like, okay, never mind. We're not going to go out the country. We're just going to do something here and I decided to do a dinner. It's like, I ain't tripping about it because... I feel like with my career now, because I have a career, thank you God, I am able to travel more and I could travel without having to rely on PTO because you know nurses schedules is 312s. So it's kind of like, you know, I don't really have to worry about PTO or anything like that and then Christy is also a nurse as well so it's kind of like we could pick our own schedules we work 312s we don't really have to rely on PTO so in my mind I'm thinking to myself like I'm not sure because when the time comes we're gonna be traveling a lot so me not being able to travel for my birthday is not gonna be a bad thing and also, I don't want to only travel on my birthday. Like, I want to travel just because. So, when my birthday do roll around, like, going out of the country, out of the state, whatever, is not, like, oh, a big deal. Because, it's like, girl, I do this on the regular. You know what I mean? Not, not trying to brag or nothing, but that's one thing I always said I wanted to start doing more of is traveling. <coughs> Excuse me. And now that I have... A career that I could travel with is like you know so that's why I'm not tripping I'm like it is what it is plenty more traveling to come 
I might as well just start this new job, get it out the way, and do what I gotta do, and then start like traveling. But I'm gonna talk to you guys on my way to get my hair done. Hi y'all. I just got done um, with today. It's 4:21. Um, I actually got done at four, but listen, this hospital is so damn big, bro. I logged out, went to the bathroom, changed to street clothes, and it took me 20 minutes just to get back, just to do all that and get to my car. Like it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I just got done. Um, my hair appointment is at 6 p.m. and I am going to go. Um, to Sephora to kill some time. Um, I needed a primer. I wanted to try the milk primer. I've been wanting to try that primer for so long. And um, they don't have it at Ulta. And Ulta is closer to my house than Sephora is. So I shop at Ulta more than Sephora. But so since Sephora is so close around here, I decided to go there. I'm, I want to get the milk primer. And I want to get like a nude eyeshadow. But I don't know. That's it. That's pretty much it, y'all. Um, oh, so I met with the supervisor today and she seen my my nails. She was like So she was like, um, those won't be allowed. And I'm like, they're not acrylics, they're powder. And she was like, um, no. Hi you guys. So I just got here to get my hair done. And it brought memories because literally, like, the last time I was here to get my hair done by Kay. Kay is the girl who does my hair. I just found her recently. This is the second time she's doing my hair for me. Um, but anyways, that's what I'm getting to. The last time she did, the last time she did my hair, it was for pinning. And it's so crazy because it's like... It's bringing back the memories of graduating, the excitement of going to pinning, getting my hair done. It's crazy because it's like, damn, like, it's crazy. You go from graduating, getting pinned, passing my NCLEX, to becoming a nurse in the ICU like I wanted. Like, you can't tell me that I'm not living in answered prayers. Like, I am in my season, I am in a season of my life where I'm living in my answered prayers, and it's like crazy. It's like, I still can't believe I'm a nurse, I still can't believe I'm in ICU. Like, it just feels like this is really too good to be true. Like, I, I look at my life sometimes, I'm like. This is not my life. Like, I'm just sleeping right now and I'm living. Like, I still feel like that, y'all. And I want to feel like this for the rest of my life. Like, I really do. Um, I feel like I'm sleeping and I'm living my dreams in my sleep. Because this cannot be real. Like, that's so crazy. And then now I'm back here again getting my hair done for my birthday. Let me show y'all how I'm going to get my hair done. Oh, but let me show y'all how what I got from Sephora. I went to Sephora. I gotta stay out of the stores. They be taking my coins. This is why I stay in the house. Cause every time I step outside, two thousand. That no, not two thousand. Baby, where you spending that? Every time I step outside, a hundred, two hundred. It was just like I don't wanna. I don't wanna live like that. But anyways, I got the milk I got the milk primer um I know y'all probably thinking like girl what are you doing with this little size the Sephora I went to literally had nothing y'all like every time I asked do you have this do you have that no no or no <coughs> but you get the little size though so this is the travel size this is the travel size of the primer this is all they had left they literally had none left the only thing they had left was this last travel size of the milk primer they didn't have the big size they didn't have none of that just this and i was like are you serious but i never tried it before 
I was like, you know what? I'll take the travel size and I'll test it out. If I like it, I'll get the bigger size. So I don't know. But anyways, this is it. The milk primer is $20 at Sephora. <coughs> Honestly, I feel like this little size right here for $20 is crazy. Like, are you serious? Oh, she gave me a little... Gave me a little um, gift, y'all. I can't smell none. I can't smell it. No, I don't have COVID. Um, and then I got this. This is Urban Decay Setting Spray All Night. Long lasting makeup setting spray. The All Nighter. That's my favorite one. And, um, again, they only had the travel size left. They did not have the regular bottle size. That's all they have left. So I, have, I was forced to get it, y'all. Like, what, what am I going to do with this? This is going to be like two sprays and then I'm done. That's crazy. But, yeah, it was $17. That's what I got at Sephora. Now I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to get my hair done. Like, oh my god, this is like really emotional for me. Like, I couldn't, I can't believe like I'm really like. It rem it brings back the memory, the memories, the joy, the excitement that I have for my penny. Like, and I believed I parked in this exact parking because I remember the view. So it's kind of like, oh my god, like, girl, you was just going to penny, not too long ago, and now. You're an active nurse working in the ICU. Like, oh my god, God is amazing. Like, God is amazing, y'all. Like, tell y'all if y'all have goals, y'all have dreams, y'all have accomplishments, or you're in nursing school right now, you're thinking of going to nursing school. Like, if you're in nursing school, keep going. Like, I know it's hard, I know you want to give up, and um. I know it feels like, dang, this is not going to work out for me and yada, yada, yada. But it is definitely worth it because when you're done, it literally feels like a weight have been lifted off your shoulders. And the world is yours. You could do whatever you want to do. You can move. You could stay where you at. You can go into your specialty. Like, the world is yours. Like, there is literally um, nothing you could do. Like, you can't do. So, yeah, just keep going. I just, I don't know. I'm so motivated right now. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just how I feel. I feel so blessed. I feel so motivated right now. And if you're watching this, just, and you're, you know, if you're watching this and you have some goals, you have some dreams that you're chasing right now and you feel like giving up, you feel like it's not going your way, and you feel like, you just don't want to keep going this is this is me telling you that dreams do come true goals do get accomplished god is amazing like i would have never been where i was at right now had it not been for god and my family support like and i tell you guys like nursing school is rough nursing school is so rough emotionally financially nursing school was the it was tough it was hard um but keep god first first seek god in the kingdom and everything else will align and so and that's what i tell myself now like even in my life when things aren't going like how i wanted to i just tell myself keep god first everything else is gonna work itself out keep god first everything else is gonna work itself out and i know that sounds so vague that sounds so cliche and then i always used to hear people say that like keep god first keep god first and i was like okay well how do i keep god first how you keep god first is through prayer and connection like that's how you keep god first you keep praying you keep talking to god about it throughout the day you keep god in your heart first and always and you stay connected with god that's how you keep god first and everything else will align itself so 
I would say about three, four years ago, if somebody told me like this would have been my life, I would have never believed them. Because when I, when I tell you guys I was over nursing school, I was over being a nurse. I'm sorry. I was over being a nurse. I did not want to be a nurse. I changed my major. I went to school for um, business marketing. And I didn't want to be a nurse anymore. I didn't even want nothing to do with the medical field. It's because I was a CNA and a lot of tragic things happen. And it left a bad taste in my mouth. And I just hated the whole CNA experience. I did not have a good CNA experience. And then I end up um, catching a back injury. And then um, after that, I never went back to being a, a CNA. And I was over the medical field. And then um, two people inspired me to go back to nursing. One of them was a coworker. I was talking to the coworker and he was like, you're, you're young. What are you doing, doing this? Like, I was a secretary at the time. He was like, you're so young. Like, why are you doing this? Like, you should, you should be trying to pursue a career right now. And I was like, oh, I don't want to be a nurse. I'm over it. Da, da, da. And I was telling him like my experience because he asked me, he was like, why you don't want to be a nurse? I was like, yeah, I was a CNA. And these are the series of events that happened that led me to not want to be a nurse anymore. And then he just started like motivating me. He was like, don't let nobody discourage you from being a nurse or stopping you from your dreams. And he was just like giving me so much good advice, y'all. And so much was said that day. And I was like, dang, I appreciate that. And I felt like it was God who sent him to come speak to me because I needed clarity at the time. I, I was confused as far as my career, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do in my life, my future. And he came to speak to me and I felt like God knew I needed that. And then a second person that inspired me was um, Christy, which is my friend. Um, the same week that, that I spoke to the, the to my coworker, and he was motivating me, the same weekend, I went to dinner with Christy, and we went to. Um, I still remember the dinner that we went to. It dang, it's on the tip of my tongue. I just had it. Um, it was a steakhouse. Mm, I forgot what it was, but we were we went to dinner, and Christy was telling me like she was like, yeah, I went back to school, and I'm like, really? Oh my gosh! And she was like, yeah, I started the nurse. I'm well, I'm starting the nursing program, and she was so excited. She wanted to um, tell me, and I was like, well, I switched majors. I went to um, business marketing, and she was like, what happened to nursing? Because we taught me and her. Me and Christy talked about becoming a nurse since we met each other. Like, literally, we met each other at work. And um, we're like, we're going to be nurses. Like, I remember us having a conversation. And we're like, we're going to be nurses. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We are having a conversation. So, she was like, she was taking a little back. She was like, what happened to nursing? And I was like, oh, I'm tired of nursing. I'm just, I'm this, I'm this. Mind you, the conversation with the man already happened, with the man from work already happened. So, um, she ended up motivating me too. She was like, um, I understand what you're saying, but she said, think about it. Like, if you, if you know Christy in real life, if you ever hang out with me and Christy, then you know, like, Christy's a very soft-spoken person. She's a very quiet person, and she's not one to, like, force her opinions down your throat she's the type of friend who you know lets you do you and if you want her advice she'll give it to you and um she like literally was like think about it like i don't know i don't think that's what you should do and she was giving me her opinion and we started talking more in detail she was like think about it you're gonna have financial stability with um being a nurse you could travel you could move you go where you want and um she was giving me all like the pros and cons of being a nurse and this was the second person that came and spoke to me and mind you i'm looking for clarity as to what to do and i'm like yeah you're right so i left that i left that dinner and i'm like you know what she's right Christy's right, my coworker's right, 
I was like, I'm going to pray about it and I'm going to change my major. And <coughs> that's what I did. I, I literally like went home, prayed about it. The following, because remember I told you what to do on the week on the weekend. So the following Monday, I called uh, my advisor and I'm like, I want to switch to nursing. After this semester, I'm done. I'm switching to nursing. And she's like, okay, let me get you over to the nursing um, advisor so we could see what we could do and let's get your transcripts. Let's see what you need. When can you start? And then later on, come to find out the, nur the new nursing semester was starting in two weeks. I had two weeks to get everything in. I had to go get a TB test. I had to go get my immunization shots records. I had to get a flu shot. I had to um, sign up and sign the contracts to be part of the program. I had to get the uniform. I had to get the book. Like, I had to get everything. I had two weeks, two weeks to get everything. And then this was the same time Hurricane Ian was um, coming. So they end up pushing the start date back because Hurricane Ian came, um, was coming. So they had to push it back. So I was supposed to start like October 3rd and they pushed it back. Um, so no, yeah, October 3rd was the pushback date. I was supposed to start before that. But I said all that to say that um, if you had told me three or four years ago that this was going to be my life, I would not have believed it. Like, it's it's just amazing to see where God have brought me from. And you know the saying that says, I'm not where I want to be, but I thank God that I'm not where I used to be. That is my present mindset. Like, I have so much more to accomplish. There's so much more that I want to do. But I thank God that I'm not where I used to be either. And as I take this Friday to reflect, um, I'm reflecting on so much things. Like, today is emotional for me, y'all. Like, I am an emotional wreck because so much. Like, it's a bittersweet moment. I, like I was listening to this TikTok and she said that she was talking to her grandmother and she asked her grandmother her grandmother's like 90 something and she said that she asked her grandmother how would she describe life and she said her grandmother said life is like a blink of an eye and I'm like oh my god I've never resonated with a statement so bad and I'm like, that is so true. That's how I feel. Like, that's my description too. Like, thank you to whoever's grandmother that was. But, oh my God, that's how I feel. If somebody asked me how would I describe life, that would be my answer. Life is like a blink of an eye. <laughs>
They not like us. 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 You think the pay gon' let you disrespect pop? to another day of the vlog so it is the day after my birthday and my dinner went spectacular it was great it was wonderful the vibes were there we had a good time we enjoyed ourselves so today me and Christy um we're gonna go to um paint painting with a twist so originally we were supposed to go jet skiing today but it was raining and throughout the day it still had a high percentage of rain like it was like one of them was like 65 or whatever and it was just keep going like, I was just like I don't want to risk it let's not go today so we're gonna go tomorrow early to go jet ski but today we decided to go um, to painting with a twist it started at 6 30 it's currently 5 52 so now I'm about to head out. Um, 
yeah so yeah i'll talk to you guys once i get there i kind of It will come together at the end, I promise. It's gonna look like a bob. It's gonna. I got your pet and lonely. Why don't you say so? Didn't even notice. No punches that to roll with. You got to keep it focused. You wanna say so? Welcome back to another day of the vlog. So today is Monday. Me and Christy are on our way to our next adventure. I took the ponytail down like that I have for my birthday and I just fixed the edges up and left the, um, I took the bun out. I didn't take the ponytail out. I left the ponytail, but I left, but I took the bun down. Y'all, I'm in Walmart. This is why I hate Walmart because I can't punch. They literally moved everything. They changed the whole Walmart setup here. And now I'm just confused. Walmart counter days, okay? Counter days. Okay, I had to ask somebody for help because I couldn't find Amy on. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, I was able to find it. This is what it is. This is what it looks like. It comes with the string. And then it comes with a thing to put your phone in. Um, I'm really excited because I got the very last one. Literally, I got the last one, y'all. All right, y'all. So, um, like I said, we just got here. I paid for my parking. Now I'm about to like switch my phone over to this case right here. I'm gonna leave the camera in the car, y'all, because we make sure nobody heard that breaking my car trying to get my camera but um <clears throat> yeah so i'm gonna leave my car my camera in the car because i don't want to risk it i don't want to risk my camera and get it wet so i'm gonna switch it over Start vlogging on my um, phone, so I'll talk to y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I got too many hoes. I can't hang you. Like to put that shit. 
million dollars. 